What's up, people? Welcome back to Devil May Cry 3. Yes. How is everyone doing today? I'm doing you, good. You sexy people. Thank you. I try my best. You sexy people. I'm talking to the audience, not you. Oh, you look so lovely good. today. Did you do something new with your hair? Thank you for noticing. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to our audience. I, I think I, I think you're ugly as shit. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm a monster. <laughs> I'm a monster. Ugh. <laughs> look at it! Look, look at, at it. it! I want you all to look at it! <laughs> Alright, so what we have here are the three trials. I hate... I hate the one where the, with the maze. This one sucks. Use your lifetime experience from the crawling infant to the man standing still, and finally to the old man laying, leaning on his cane. I never got that. I, it's supposed to be a hint of, like, where you're supposed to go. Like, if you're crawling, like, you should go down or some shit. Fuck it, I'm gonna... Oh, the, oh, I'm gonna try yeah. that out. Try that out. Nope! I learned through trial and error. Like, I went through each one, and I'm like, okay, not that one, it's this one. I even had to get a notebook and like write stuff down. Yeah, it sucks. I always, if I ever do all three trials, I always look it up which one it is. I never remember. Or, just, wait, there's a numerical system? I've become so numb! Fuck! One problem I have with like spacious with like type rooms is that like it tests your skills with like the devil may cry. Oh wait, I forgot I could do this. Fuck off! I hate these things! Because they like reproduce enemies. They're super annoying. Yeah, that's true. No! No! Oh my god! Die! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Fuck that trial! Fuck that trial! Fuck that trial! Do you wanna just do a different one? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, when you get all three trials, you get a weapon, but that weapon really sucks! And this is not a 100% let's play, like any of our let's plays. Even if you upgrade the weapon, it still sucks. It still sucks! Well, I'm an expert, and I shut up! Oh, I miss all my red orbs. Oh, my money! My money. Currency and blood. My money! I want to go for the trickster style for uh, um, that one trial. Go for it, bruh. Go for it, broski. Broski. Broski! See, we don't need dash. Oh, man, fuck. I really miss all my upgrades. Warrior will light. Test the chamber will light all the crest. Suppress okay, that's the that's the one where you beat the shit out of everything. Brodicus. Okay, then you go to that one. And teleport. Oh flash. Very, <laughs> very, very slow flash. Yes. Trial of skill! More like trial of just don't fucking die and you'll make yeah. it fine. Yeah. Ah, double jump really comes in handy with this one. Yeah. You ever um, did you ever buy the double jump? I did, I did. It's really useful. I know, I know. Ooh, that was close. Nice. I always get hit by the final spike. <gasps> Not anymore! Oh! Oh, perfect run! Which means I got skills! Skills mm. to pay the bills! All you need now is a derp face. A what? Derp face. A derp face? A derp face. Why? Because it'd be funny. Just random. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually using the shotgun a lot more. It's useful. Now it's starting to somewhat become useful. It still sucks. It still sucks, but Oh yeah, when I get the when I get uh the missile launcher, I'm fucking ignoring everything. What about the uh um do you use the guitar? You know, it's it's you know, it get, I I've experimented with the guitar weapon that we get later in the game. And it, you know what when, it's actually a pretty good weapon for like controlling the field and whatnot. Yeah. What I love about Devil May Cry is, like, you can talk about it, like, and people would, like, think you're talking about a fighting game. I'm like, no, man, this shit is, like, the normal combat you do every time. Uh -huh. And it's, like, as, as complex as a fighting game. Yeah. It's awesome. I love it. Great I like God of War, but it's like, eh. They, you, like, get rewarded just from spamming the same attack over and over again. I'm like, no, man, I sometimes like the... I like creativity. Mm-hmm. This is definitely creative, too. 
you know, you gotta be creative with your combos and think like off top. And you gotta do yeah, like know, split so second neat. timing, and I love it. It's awesome. Yeah, this hate. fight takes a while because you gotta hit the panels and stuff. Yeah, you don't have to. Well, it helps. Oh, it definitely helps. But like, oh god, you guys need to take a shower. Oh shit, I had, I didn't yeah. expect you. Oh, I forgot we just unlocked. Bro, let's throw him up after. Yeah, probably should have kept him. We we'll brought them here. Wait, where's the next one? Is this one? You Favorite have... Spider-Man villain? Uh, let me change. Let me change. Uh, that's a tough one. Yeah, it has to be like yes, I don't know. I think it's the best ones. Batman comes close though. Yeah. Let me think. Uh, oh shit! I didn't. I don't have Swordmaster equipped. It's gonna be tough. Oh yeah. Fuck. Let me. Uh, I, I I can't. Uh, I can't. Probably the Green Goblin. Uh, the Gwen Stacy, bro. Oh yeah. I gotta pick it just for that alone. Uh, that story's amazing. Everything. It's a timeless comic. Yeah, that's true. I think it is, because like like that shit was never done before. Like killing off a love interest like that. That shit was like never done before. What do you think makes a timeless comic? Um, doing something unexpected that's never really been seen before. And it changes like the face of comics and like how how stories are told. So like what is what are your timeless comics? To be honest, I've got none. I I would go with the first appearance of Superman, obviously, and uh, the uh, uh, and Batman, obviously. I'd also pick um, I'd probably pick Spider-Man's origin story because it's a timeless origin story. Like, oh yeah, you can, like everybody like, knows his origin like, story. Like you could set that origin in like any time and place, and it's you know. Yeah, it, like, 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 like if you go up to like I bet you like almost anybody, you'd be like, hey, you know Spider-Man's origin story? He's like, yeah. Did, did his uncle die and he vowed revenge? Yep, go ahead. Yep, go, well not revenge, but like justice or some shit. Yeah. The amazing Spider-Man fucked that up because it wasn't Peter's fault that Uncle Ben died. It was Uncle Ben's fault because he went for the fucking gun when it dropped out of that guy's hand. Uh -huh. If he didn't do that, Uncle Ben would have lived. I know people would have gotten crazy, but I actually, you know what? I kind of want to move. I kind of wanted to see like, what if Uncle Ben didn't get shot? What would Spider-Man do? There is a what if story about that because you know he how he was a jerk with his spider powers originally. He's like, it's all about me now, and yeah. I don't care about anyone. There is this great story. It's a what if. And it's like, what if the symbiote got to Spider-Man and his uncle didn't die and he never learned the responsibility aspect? What happened? He goes completely evil. Oh, I know, I wanted- that's so interesting! You never expect it. Yeah. See, like, stuff like that. That stuff's cool, but, like, yeah. that's a good point. And it's like, is Spider-Man doing Oh, wait, Rudra and Agni. Shoot the door, then go walk through it. <laughs> Here. Yeah, I'm rearing to watch Jessica Jones again. I really fucking enjoyed it. Like, the plot is actually better than Daredevil's. Seriously? Yes! The fight scenes are nowhere near as good, but but she's a super but she's has super strength, so it makes sense. Mm. Whereas Daredevil's a ninja, so it would make sense to fucking Alright, so we're actually not going to get the gun up there that's gonna shoot this laser to open the door. Because honestly, it kind of stinks. And that thing that like it may look awesome there, but you can't do that. Like it just shoots little purple balls at things. And it's kind of fucking sad. Yeah. What's this? Rudra and Agni. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think you have to get like a. Fuck. Well, I don't have Swordmaster, so I can't do that. Why did you equip it? I forgot. Oh. I'm used to Devil May Cry 4 where I can switch it on the spot. Uh, and we're done with the level anyway, so... Yeah. We'll do it for the next mission. We wear short shorts! <laughs> <laughs> well, well. 
You've grown stronger. Go to hell. You point a gun at me? Your own kin? Your dear papa? Plot twist! Never <laughs> had was my mother. And she's dead! Plot twist! <laughs> you break my heart! After all. She's wearing a skirt, right? right? Or is that a short My darling daughter? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Bested by the Bible. <laughs> ooh, ooh, a nice shot. Ooh, nice. Got so close, I wish he'd hit him. Falling forever! <laughs> <laughs> I was following that part, but like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you been on like those types of rides to like, with just a just a drop down? That Dude, never. I've been on those. Things. That feeling like, oh my stylish oh, points sucked. This might be my first. I got a B. Nice. All right, I'll go with it. Thank you, great inflation. Hey, yeah. Wait, no, I refuse to go right. on those things. Sean, if you could go skydiving just once, would you do it? No! I would. Do I get a guarantee to live? Yes. Alright, then fine. But if I... But is there a gigantic... Uh, what the fuck are those? Trampoline? In case I don't... Uh, in case I fuck up? <laughs> no. Then fuck that, I ain't doing it! Hey <laughs> dude, <laughs> like your parachute will be like packed by a professional who's been doing it for like 20 years. That's like that, if, if you have someone like, oh, I like that, the, to... I like this. <laughs> well, this is my kind of rain. <laughs> Mine too. This guy looks so funny today. Let me go. Let you go? <laughs> but it would be a waste if you ended up as just a pretty stain. <laughs> Damn, bitch! What did he do to any- Ungratefulness. Imagine if he was- Well, the thing is, she thought he was human. <laughs> that's, that's more- that's more fucked up. That's the- that's what the fucked up part of that. Here I am, Trent. <laughs> and you show your thanks by shooting me? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Do as you please. Yeah, fuck Harry Potter and his scar. That's bad- more badass. <laughs> <laughs> So he's a demon too. Kinda, he's a half demon. Well, he's half. I'm beginning to think I've got right. Oh, here comes the seven. Mm. Who's the blood? <gasps> the hype is real! The hype is real! Shit, I didn't want that. <laughs> the hype is real! Comes out of the movie theater. Fuck, I didn't want that. <laughs> What is the most disappointing movie ever for you? Um, I have it. I, I gotta remember the name. I have one. Why was it for you? The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, uh, that was for you? Uh, I, I have. I was I stoked have... for that film because it had Electro and it had... No, I was really looking forward to that. Let, let, me, let me think. Oh, okay. like, again, I, I remember. I'm trying to remember the name. Then again, I never did like... I didn't even like the first one that much, to be honest with you. Oh, look, I got it. Oh, right, I, can, I got oh, it. Oh, I can go back and I got get it. I got it. I got it. It was Dragon Ball Evolution. I was You were looking forward to that? I was a big fan of Dragon Ball. What changed? That movie. Dude, that's... Really? Nah, I'm still a fan. It's just, I just like... Wow, that's, that's terrible. Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah, I was right. But yeah, that movie disappointed me. Oh, I never saw that movie. I'm not. Admittingly, I'm not a huge Dragon Ball Z fan, so I watched the Broly movie. Oh, bro, I like that movie. That was a good movie. Oh, here's that annoying as shit one where the, the fucking get one in the air. Actually, you don't want to go down there. You want to go up here. You want to go down there, actually. You want to go down here. Welcome to the walkthrough of Devil May Cry 3, where we no longer have fun commentary. <laughs> but that, that would be my reaction, too. No, I, was, I, had, I had, like, a few that here on my phone. I hate it when that happens. I know. It's like, how did we get there? I know how, does like... it, how does it know? <laughs> Bitch! Oh. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. So what did this kid say about you? Like, he thought, what? Like, did he watch the Daredevil show? 
Nah, he hasn't seen it. What the fuck is he doing with his life? I have no idea. Who is this kid? I don't need a name, but like... Right, um, he's a friend, like a sophomore year. Okay. We became a pretty good friends. Who's his favorite Marvel hero? Uh, I think for him it's... Spider-Man? No, not Spider-Man. I think Wolverine, probably. Oh, lame. Or, no, maybe not Wolverine. I don't Wolverine's remember. Wolverine's boring as it was. So what does he think about the new female Wolverine, X-23? Uh, I never asked him. I kind of like it, because it's like, that's her, that's Logan's female clone, so it makes sense. And plus, we still have old old man Logan, so... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Old man Logan. Yeah, it's a good story. <laughs> I love the X... So, apparently, She-Hulk and Hulk hooked up in that movie, which is weird, because they're cousins. But we found out why, and their explanation given was that... She Hulk was the only one that could survive having sex with the Hulk. <laughs> no, that's literally why. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess. I mean, take what you can get, but fuck it. It wouldn't be the first time people like have. Oh god, I, it's disgusting real life. But if yeah. like if you're the Hulk and when you get excited, you just took go green. Like fuck it, the only one that's gonna survive. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was like uh, it was like those two. It, like there was a story about like two people mm -hmm. never even met before. Like, um, they, got, they got married, and it turns out that they were actually related. Ew! Yeah. They didn't even know. Like, they did, like, well, like, uh, like, is this, uh... Is this the Oedipus Complex story? I don't remember, but... With the one where he marries his mom? No, not his mom. Okay, never mind. It was, like, a close cousin that he never met. Is it past second cousin? What do you mean? Like... If it's past your second cousin, it doesn't count. No, that, that, That's the law, actually. No, this was, like, like, it's, like, it's first... Oh god, then that's disgusting. Yeah, like, apparently, like, they never even met, and it was just chance that they were related. What did they find out? They did, like, like, um... I hate these things. Like, um, someone, like, one of the friends mentioned that they actually looked somewhat similar. Oh, so god. they wanted to know more about that. They did a DNA test, and it turned out that they were closely related. Ew. Yeah. Poor guys. Actually, they didn't really care. They're just like, oh, okay, that's disgusting. Fuck it. Literally. <laughs> that, was, that was unintentional. And then I'm like, oh wait, that's actually literally. <laughs> you can destroy those, right? What, these? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. I think you can. I'm pretty sure you can. Not those ones. I mean, like, those ones on the wall. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, just the ones that have texture to them. Fuck your crypt! Boobs. 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 Sup, homie. That guy has the cock. That shoots ghosts. That I never boobs. got what that was, though, to be honest. Boobs. I'm like, what is that? Portal to the dead, huh? The only thing I like about the reboot, I like the limbo thing. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, that was the creative. That was creative. Like, like, that was their excuse for their level designs. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But I was kind of hoping like you would fight the level design in it too, in a way, because like, because if like if Mundus or Mundus in the game Mundus. can like can de whatever yeah. can just can destroy uh, can uh fucking uh, control the area, why can't why doesn't he just destroy the entire ground? And then he falls to his death. Good point. What an idiot villain. Yeah. Only saw Mundus only saw Mundus and Devil May Cry like three times, and he was already more way more badass. Uh -huh. You know what's weird? What? I'm just in the zone. I'm just pushing buttons. I'm not even paying attention to what's going on on the screen. Nice. Wait. Like, honestly, I'm just like, you know when, like, when we were playing Batman and I was just telling you it was just so automatic for me? Yeah. That's what I'm going through right now. It's just, I don't know, it's just how I play games when I'm talking to someone. I'm just like, I'm focusing more on the conversation and I'm just like, I'm just like in the zone where I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I get exactly what you're saying. Hey, did, you, did you watch Supergirl? Supergirl? I still haven't seen it. It's okay. It's, uh, the first two episodes got me really excited and then everything afterwards. It's like, what's going on? Like, where's... It's, it's kind of... Eh. I don't know how to word it. Like, when I first watched it, I'm like, oh, yeah, fuck, this scene's gonna be awesome, like, Flash or some shit. And it kind of reminds me of Flash, but, like, the 
Oh shit. Yeah, that one's hard. I don't know. I don't have enough. I don't have enough uh, combos. To yeah, do you that mean, one. Don't you need like an SS or something? You need like a triple S rank. The problem is I don't have Swordmaster equipped anymore. I'm on level one or two. I think you're two. Okay, let me check. Yeah, you're. Yeah, level two. You're level two. I never used a map feature. Like it's fucking useless. There was a map feature. Yes. I never knew. <laughs> <laughs> it's really worthless though. Yeah. Maybe I'll try it out. I don't think it'll go well, but it, yeah, there's a map feature. Wow. It's really useless though. It's like, what's the point? Like, you should know where you are. Not you, I'm just saying. I'm bad with that. Actually. Oh god, I dread the day when you start driving. Actually, like, for some, like, for some games, like, if I really like the game, I'll remember where the heck the area is supposed to be. Like, uh, me and Kyle, we combined our money to buy this game for a PS4 for, like, both of us to play it. Okay, I guess he shared with me his account and stuff, so... So, yeah. And, um, the game we got was a game called Akiba Strip. Dare I ask? And you fight by stripping people. Like, you literally, like, actual, like, can't do hand combat, and you defeat your enemies by stripping them. Pretty funny, actually. <laughs> So that one has a pretty big map. You know, like all these locations you have to go out and memorize them because the game is just so fun. Fuck it. This is taking too much. But you were close. I was close, but I just don't have enough combos. The game's holding me back from my greatness! <laughs> Fucking assholes. <laughs> or maybe your greatness is just so great that the game needs to hold you back. <laughs> oh, that bullshit excuse, it was in you the whole time. I hate that excuse. I know. Games. It's like, the key was in you the whole time. I'm like, fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> like, like, whenever they're like, oh, really, where was that key when my family was being, you know? Yeah, where was that power when I was dying? Or, or, or when my parents were dying? Shut up. <laughs> the plot didn't demand it. <laughs> Like, I bet you, you'd be really good at, like, a prank phone call. You do a demon voice. Really? You remember Darth Nihilus from Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars game? Yeah. That's what he sounded like. I used to freak the shit out of people with that. Dude. Oh, fuck this part! Oh. I hate that annoying ball and chain shit. Oh, we're not gonna be able to fight Virgil at the end of this. Shad face! Fuck this thing. Especially with the camera change, it's really annoying. Break already! Huh! Oh. That took longer than I thought. That took shorter than I think it did. Ah, the crystal skull! <laughs> Is that Indiana Jones or Pirates of the Caribbean? Indiana Jones. Actually, that movie was pretty disappointing, too. I never watched it because I heard how shit it was, and I'm like, Nope, my love for Indiana Jones prevents me from wanting to see this. Did I make a good call? Yeah. It was very good. Like, plus, I, I don't like Sh plus, I don't like Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. I call him Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Sounds better. <laughs> and I know that's you his last... Shia LaBeouf real life channel, right? Like, real channel of Shia LaBeouf. Is he still in movies? Uh, he's doing like, uh, I don't know. I don't like him. Like, there's just yeah, something like he's about actually, him. He's one of the most hated actors. There's just like something about him that pisses me the fuck off, and I can't like explain it. It's really weird. It's like, it's like, what's his face? Uh, Justin Bieber? No, not him. I don't care about him. Like, he's so irrelevant to me. I don't even he's care. He's such a fuck. Oh, I agree, but like for me, it's like I'm not into music that much, so I don't really give a shit about what goes on in the music industry. Yeah. But I, when I hear about it, I go, "Wow, that really sucks for people." Like, but I always think, like, if it if it was like someone else, you know, I've always put myself like, if I was a music fan, like, I would probably have that same thing. <laughs> Whenever I tell people I don't listen to like. Like, I don't, like, pay attention to the music industry. They give me this weird look, like, oh my god, you don't care. I'm like, yeah, because most people don't give a shit. Like, the, like, only one artist went, had a platinum album 
Which means they sold over a million copies last year. That was Taylor Swift. Uh, Woo! Yeah. Good for her. T Swizzle. I like T Swizzle. Like, I'm not super into her songs. I used to like her back when she was into, like, country stuff. I know it sounds really curly. I'm like, no, no, no. I just like her. Hey, you remember that? Like, she's. And also, for those of you wondering, I think she's cute. I don't think she's, like, hot. That's just me. That's just me. What do you think? I think It's like the girl you bring to home to mommy and daddy and say, like, look, I got a girlfriend. <laughs> One of those. And, and plus, if I break up with her, there's a good chance I have a song named after me. All the way on the five minutes after this, we talk about Taylor Swift and Blake Lee and Ryan at the same time. Yes, we are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Tell your friends about us. I will. Please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I know we're over 25 minutes, but fuck it, we're gonna we're gonna lead up to that boss fight. We're not gonna do the boss fight, but we're gonna We're gonna build up we're the gonna, hype. We're gonna build up the hype for it. We're gonna make you want that boss fight. Ooh, gold orb. Did you know that was there or did you just get lucky? I knew there was always something back here, but I always thought it was like a blue orb. I think it's a blue orb. I think like all the locations that have the uh the uh gold orbs, after you revisit them, they're blue orbs. The second time you visit them, and then there's nothing there afterwards. I think. Don't quote me on that. All right. Why did you quote me on your essay? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I'll, I might save this. Ep I might save the story for like the next episode because we're almost out of time. All right. But it'll make you go what? I still tell my friends about your whole 24. Remember? You know, I'm just going to wait for the next episode. Oh.